What's up guys, it is Matt from Electric All Wheel and we have the Aim of Big Sur. This is a 750 watt rear hub with a 48 volt 15 amp hour battery in the frame on the down tube. This is a very nice bike. We really like it. Buffet display, left hand thumb throttle, th a horn right underneath that. Uh, a very good setup on the handlebars and a quality built bike and it looks good too. We have the electric all wheel 40 amp discharge balancer kit for dual battery and we are going to get an install going on. We anticipate XT60 at the controller. One of the particular things about this bike is that the plate has security torque screws on it. So had to get a specific set for that. You'll see what I mean in a moment when we take that plate off. We also believe that the controller is going to be mounted, so this will likely be an external install, so we will have to get another set of cables to run it out, so that means dual wire coming to the battery. What we're actually going to do is mount another down tube battery. We would move to utilize the bottle cage screws here on the frame, and that is possible with a mount for this style battery but we have these straps so it'll be an easy install just for demo purposes so keep that in mind we will leave a link to this battery and the straps as well in the description below as well as the electric all wheel dual battery discharge balancer kit if you haven't already give us a like and subscribe on youtube it is our primary and if you're in the area e-bikes of tampa bay florida get in that facebook group make an event and go for a ride with your e-bike friends you will see a lot of big sirs i know tarpon thompson sold a bunch of these bikes and they are riding up and down the pinellas trail so if that is you get in that facebook group make an event and go for a ride with your e-bike friends here we go So we got this specific set of bits and we're going to need this one now. This is a Torx 25H and it has this little divot in the head of it so that it will actually fit over the securities, these security screws that are used in the AIMA Big Sur. There we have it. This is a this is one of the best plates I've seen. Uh, form fit. It actually has sets set spots for the screws, and then of course are the screw heads for it as well. All right. So we are just exploring. We see the opening. This is going to be our target for bringing in the cables, and then just going to go ahead and get these out. And there it is. XT60s, this is good news. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and take our extension cables, our second set of extension cables, and then get both heads of one of each into the housing, make our connections here, bring those cables outside, button up the faceplate, test this thing, and then get a second battery added. So we're gonna need a female end, and then a male end inside the housing. There we go. We're just gonna go ahead and undo this plug and then plug in the corresponding ends. So. All right, we've got that back in there. What we should do right now is just go ahead and get the balancer on this thing and then 
test that it works with an external battery. So there we go, we have the balancer out. What we're gonna do is plug in the external battery as well, and then we're gonna remove the factory setup. So in all these bikes here, if we call today, tomorrow they'll sell the part. Same thing for the sun, the sun's out of Miami, a lot of the time, throwing the shit So this is where the stuff comes? Yes. There it is. Perfect. That looks like a good spot for a hold. Perfect. I'm just gonna let that down. I'm gonna button up this controller box, and then we're gonna mount the balancer here with zip ties, and then you'll see the bike. So what I'm gonna do is split it on either side. So I'll have this, and then just plug in accordingly. You can't mess it up, just plug in what works. I think we're gonna turn that. Get one on the body. Double up. So might get longer zip ties here, but I'm fine. I'll just make it. I'm gonna get another one around. I'm not gonna squeeze too tight on the wires, but I want it to be there to hold. So that'll give it the vertical support. So it won't slide. So that, and then here is our connection for the battery. So we can go ahead and plug that in. We do have if you get the extra set of cables, actually this seems to work well with only what comes with the kit. Uh, if you get the extra set of cables, then you will have the slack. Also, if this battery is moved down or put on the mounts here, it's going to be further down the frame, so this won't be so prevalent. I know this might be a problem for a lot of people. Um, just keep in mind, we do have the extra set of cables. They don't come with these bullet adapters, but we have cables available so you can have the the length that you want for the tailored fit that you want.
All right, let's talk about this bottle cage real quick. Um, this is just easier for us to do the install. You can see how this has been moved down and there's plenty of slack. So you can just tie this off with another zip tie and that won't be a taut wire in between. Keep in mind, there are three bottle cage screws here. So let me show you what's gonna happen with the battery. These are mounted to these strap plates, but in reality, all you have to do is mount the mounting plate without these straps to the body of the frame and then just remove the third screw. And then that will suffice. You will actually do the mounting. You'll be on this metal part of the plate and that gives the stru structural stability. This is pretty general for all down two batteries. So it's not gonna be much of a problem. Again, we just use these straps because it is super convenient for moving batteries between bikes. There may be a desire to get some sort of wrap on your wiring here, but the entire idea behind the black on black with the XT60s and the wires for the electric all wheel dual battery discharge balancer kit is this style of setup here. Most bikes, regardless of what they are, all use black cables. So we wanted to make it look as close to factory as possible, even with the aftermarket aspects and just keep it out of sight, out of mind. So just be aware of that, not much of an issue. Also, if you're gonna do these straps, remember that you need screws. These are five millimeter screws that have to have a head where you can slide the battery over them. The ones that come with these straps are, the head is too deep and the battery will not slide onto the mount. Keep that in mind. Well, there you have it. We have fortunately been able to work inside at Tarpon Toms and we're very thankful to them for that. And we have added a second 15 amp hour battery to the already standard and sizable 48 volt 15 amp hour battery of the AIMA Big Sur. That is gonna bring us to 30 amp hours total for this system with the electric all wheel dual battery discharge balance kit. Now Range calculations for this dual battery, 48 volt aim of Big Sur, factory 15 amp hours, additional 15 amp hours, here we go. 15 amp hours plus 15 amp hours equals 30 times 48 equals 1440 watt hours. We'll divide that by the Michael Toll constant, which says 25 watt hours per mile ridden and you get 57.6 miles out of the Aim of Big Sur with the dual battery setup at throttle only 20 miles an hour. If you can last that long, and you probably can with this quality seat on this bike, then you are good to go. If you haven't already, please give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. It is our primary. And if you're in the Tampa Bay area, one, check out Tarpon Tom's e-bikes, and two, Get into the Facebook group, E-Bikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. Make an event and go for a ride with your e-bike friends. Check out all the dual battery glory on the YouTube channel. And if you have a request or need any info, we'll do our best to accommodate. Just email us at electricallwheel at gmail.com. We will talk to you next time.